Hey everybody, welcome to this Guitar Pass lesson. Today we're gonna do CCRs down on the corner. Uh, really just show you the riff and the chords, a couple different places to play the chords so uh, you and a buddy can jam and do different textures and different things, or you might just mix it up when you're playing it. And uh, yeah, it's a fun song. This is fun just for the campfire and jamming out. So I uh, hope you dig it. Hey, just real quick before the lesson, just want to let you know there's a 14-day free trial at guitarpass.com. A lot of cool guitar lesson fun on there. Check out the description below. I think you're going to enjoy it. Back to the lesson. All right, this song is in the key of C, Down on the Corner by CCR. Um, we are going to start here on the fifth string, third fret. So just follow me here. We're going to do the main riff. Right, so when, you might see me go, you know, I'm choking the string too, so notice that if you haven't done this before. Hit it, and then if I lift up a little bit, but still holding the string, it chokes it. So we're gonna do it quick. Right, so here we go again. Now we're going to go over here to the fourth string, this is an F, and we're going to do the same pattern with a little bit of a twist. Follow me. Right here. Bring it over to the fourth here. So that's that little twist, here we go. Then back to C. Right, so that's the main riff, right? Right on, there you go, there's the main riff right there. And the chords to the song is C, G, which you can do either that or this, right? So I might intermittently, I'll just do them differently each time, you'll notice. And C, and then uh, we're also gonna do F, which you can do a million ways, right? I'm gonna do this one, this is a good like beginner one. Just don't hit that high E string, maybe lean down and muffle it. Right, so aim for that five through two. So here we go, the strumming pattern is gonna be a... So it's down. I'm kinda of like, I like to choke it a little bit here. Like... Right? So practice that a lot. And then you're gonna split, we're gonna go to G and back to C and we're gonna split that rhythm. So here's the main rhythm again. G. And then C, up, 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 choke, right? Let's do that again. And we do it again. Verse, you do it twice. Then we're gonna go to that F, which I, again, I like to do this one right now. Full strum, C. So we go F and C full strum. And then we're gonna go back to that main theme of full, half, half. All right, I'm just gonna play it all so you can uh, see what I'm, what I'm getting at here. There's the verse. Uh, now for the chorus, same chords, now we're gonna start on the F. Down on the corner, out in the 
street So that's a half on, right? We're splitting that up on all these guys. We're going down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down. You're splitting all of them. Slow. There you go. There's the chorus. And that is the whole song. I do want to show another way of doing the chords because this is a nice, uh, you know, at the campfire acoustic open chords right here in the first position uh, and you hear the album's a little tighter and they're kind of doing a little a brighter kind of sound and if you are playing with a buddy you uh, one could do these chords that we just did and someone could do the other ones or if you can mix it up uh, so here we go so i'm going to kind of bar it on the fifth fret here you'll see uh, we're doing four three two and I'm going to try to keep it strummed just on those strings. So this up and down strumming is going to be a little tricky, but i got to tighten it up. But that's going to be our C now. It's all the same rhythm, of course. And then I'm going to do this for G. All right? These are all 4-3-2 triads, which you can look at my triad courses to get more of that. Uh, and I'm kind of, I'm, I'm avoiding that. I could flatten it like an F chord, because that works. This is G again. But I kind of, this is nice and quick and you don't have to bar anything, but maybe I'll lean into it so I can mute that in case I accidentally hit the string. So there's my G, so I got C. Right, it's a little less bassy, a little tighter. Some people use this finger because it's easier to get to this G right here, but it's harder to bar. Uh, I think, you know, if you're new at this, this is probably a good way to go. All right, we're going to do it again. Now, F, I'm going to keep this barred, but I'm going to put my first finger on the, my first finger on the uh, second string here, and then, you know, this guy right here, the third finger on the fourth string. It's kind of a short, abbreviated version of this bar chord, which is a pain in the butt to play. So I kind of leave that out and you just do that. And again, it's kind of, really, it's a 4-3-2 triad again of F. But since we're already in this position, I'm just going to bring it down. Right? That is a great thing to get used to. A lot of classic rock, a lot of Rolling Stones, Joe Walsh. Right? So here we go. That's F, C, G. So here we go. You're gonna, I'm going to do the whole uh, thing right here, the verse and chorus. Now, real quick, uh, F, C, and in, there's another option you can do instead of G. We'll do this guy, put that on the fourth string. That's a G right there. It's kind of like a, another power chord in a way, but really it's like a D-shaped bar chord thing, but I'm just gonna do that. Again, four, three, two. That's a G. That's another way of doing G, pretty cool. So yeah, you know, maybe on the chorus I'll do it, you know. Or even better yet, what I like to do actually is I'll go down on the corner, go to this one, out in the street. Now I'll do the, this one, alternate. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> I'll do that again. Down on the corner. Hello. I didn't have my multivitamin today, I guess. Dun. Kind of gives it a little different color. It's the same chord, but a little different voicing, a little different sound to it. And it's cool to alternate it. Pretty cool. One more thing to tell you about the song. 
Uh, might as well, it's fun to, uh, I like to show you different things in different positions and sort of friend can double up on you. You both can do different, the same thing, but in different areas and make, have more texture and sound cool. Or if you're doing your own thing, you just have other places to play and you're learning the guitar this way. Uh, so for C, the riff, let's start C here on the third string. Same pattern. Do it again. Now for F, you're going to go right here on the second string. Right here. So it's and then back to C. All right, so those are all the parts. Uh, maybe I'll do a little musical uh, instrumental arrangement just to put it all together. Here we go. Oh, hey, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. If you did, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget, 14-day free trial at guitarpass.com. See you there.